All right, guys, can L-glutamine help with gut health, particularly things like irritable bowel disease and leaky gut? Let's talk about that. So L-glutamine is it's a natural amino acid. Your body can make it. But what we run into is some problems sometimes when it can't make enough. And we'll talk about that in a second. But it is produced in your body and it's produced in your muscles and that's released in your bloodstream and it goes and it helps your immune system and it helps your organ function, but it plays a huge role in your gut health. We call it non-essential only because you can usually make enough, but when you get into these stressful situations, and let's face it, if you have gut problems, you're in a stressful situation, you're going to have a difficult time meeting those needs just through your diet. And speaking of diet, the most rich foods of L-glutamine, the richest sources are your protein foods, whether that's dairy, meat, fish, poultry. Okay. Now let's talk about what L-glutamine is actually doing to help your gut. First of all, it's going to balance your microbiome. You probably are already aware you have good bacteria, you have bad bacteria. We don't want too much bad. We want more of the good. L-glutamine helps you do that. Now we have a study here. I'll provide a link in the description of this study. Big words here, but firmicutes and bacteriodetes, we'll call that F and B. But here's what they found. Here's why this is important. There was a high ratio of F to B in people who had metabolic disease and people who showed obesity. When they gave those people L-glutamine and they only gave it to them for 14 days, that ratio did decrease and it decreased significantly. They also saw weight loss by supplementing with L-glutamine. So it does appear that L-glutamine is playing a role. We believe it's helping modify some of that genetic expression of these F and Bs that we were talking about. The second thing that glutamine is going to do, and this is really important, it's going to improve the gut cell junctions. If you picture these as cells, we, we don't want spaces in between the cells. We want tight junctions. When you don't have those tight junctions, things can get through. We start running and that's that leaky gut thing that we have going on. Now, when cells are not given enough glutamine, they did have a reduced number of proteins. And these proteins are what's involved in helping form these tight junctions. So when you don't have enough L-glutamine, you have more gut permeability. The, the important thing to keep in mind is you need a lot of L-glutamine because your gut cells are turning over probably every five days. So you, you really do need a lot of glutamine. The final thing that the biggest thing that L-glutamine is going to do out of these, these last three is it's going to lower gut inflammation. Okay. It does help to minimize the inflammatory response in any sort of gut mucosal irritation. All right. There's things called heat shock proteins. Now, if we can increase the activity of these heat, heat shock proteins, for example, sauna, doing a sauna can increase your heat shock proteins, but so can glutamine. And when it does that, it's, we have seen improvements in the inflammation that you're going to see in the gut when you supplement. So from a scientific, from an evidence standpoint, yes, we have evidence that it's helpful. Are there side effects if you decide to supplement? Generally, it's well tolerated. Some people will complain of stomach-based side effects, but I think sometimes that has more to do with their current health status because they already have gut problems, so they're going to have trouble dealing with some of these things. And the second thing is the dosing that we're using, and we'll talk about that in a second. But generally, bloating, constipation, some people get gas, nausea, GI pains. Some people complain a headache. Okay. Now let's talk about dosing if you choose to move forward with it. I would caution you about dosing it. And that's because I've seen protocols out there where people will suggest, hey, start out at a high dose of glutamine and hit your body with it and then slowly lower it down. What I found is when people do that, they tend to experience more side effects. So I'm in the opposite camp. If you're going to supplement, I'd start out lower, slowly ramp it up. Once you get to a certain point, then you can lower it back down to a maintenance dose, hopefully as you're adjusting your lifestyle and your foods, and that way you don't need it in the future. L-glutamine should be a short-term supplement. So the protocol that I've seen the best luck with, for example, on days one through three, 
you could supplement with say 10 grams a day. The next three days, bump it up to 20 if you're still doing good. The next three, four days, you could bump it up to 30 grams a day. And if symptoms are improving and you're tolerating okay, then you can drop down to what's considered a maintenance dose of 10 grams a day and then slowly wean off that. Again, this is going to depend heavily on where you're at right now and the changes that you're making in your diet. But over time, we want you off the supplement. A couple of pointers on the dosing. Don't take more than 10 grams at a time. So if you're, do, if you're shooting for 30 grams in a day, what we want to do is do 10 grams in the morning, 10 grams noon, 10 grams in the evening. And you always want to take it on an empty stomach. That's going to help. So my patented, would I give it a thumbs up, thumbs down? L-glutamine would be a thumbs up for me, for your gut health. I feel like there's solid evidence for it. I feel like the feedback I've gotten from people who have actually used it has been positive. It's been shown to be very safe and it's not expensive. So that hits a lot of things for me. I'm comfortable recommending it. I would not recommend it long term. I think it's You know, if your diet is on point, this can help you if you're running into GI problems and you get your diet on point, excuse me, this can help you get there faster. Okay. So let me know in the comments, guys, other topics that would be helpful for me to cover, valuable for you. And if you've used L-glutamine, let me know your experience in the comments. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.